Hey friends, uh, today the sensor for which I will be talking about is SHT30. Uh, for more knowledge about this sensor, let's go to controleverything.com and here search for this sensor. So let's see what we got. So SHT30 is a humidity and temperature sensor and these are some of its features which have been lined up. This can be purchased from here, from this very site. For today's demonstration, I will be interfacing this sensor with an Arduino Nano. So for that I require a code. For that uh, go to the source tab and here is our Arduino code sample. Click on this and you can download the code as a zip file from here. You can also download the code from our GitHub repository that is control everything community. Now let's make some connections for the hardware products and proceed further. So let's have a look over the hardware first. First of all, we require an Arduino Nano, which you can see on my screen right now. Uh, now, this is an I2C sheet. Uh, it's available on our website controleverything.com and it's used in making connections with other I2C devices rather easy. So make the connection and gently place the Arduino Nano over the I2C sheet like this. Now the requirement is of our sensor that is SHT30 humidity and temperature sensor and a connecting cable of course. Now make the connection of the cable and the sensor like this and while making this connection make sure that the brown wire of the cable should be connected to the ground terminal of the sensor and same has to be proceeded for the shield. Now to power up our Arduino Nano we require a mini USB cable just like this and gently insert it over here. So we are done with our connections part. Let's proceed further and interface. Let's interface our sensor with an Arduino Nano. For that, I will be requiring an Arduino code. So go to github.com and here type and search for control everything community which you are able to see on my screen. Now click over it and here search for SHT30 and here is our required sensor and this is our Arduino code. Now let's have a look over the instruction first. We have to download and install the Arduino software ID on our local machine and this is the Arduino link which will help us to install Arduino step by step. So have a closer look on this link. Now get back to our code and here is our required code. This is .ino extension file. The first thing you notice in our code is that we have included wire.h library and define the address of our sensor that is 0x44. In the void setup function, we have initialized serial communication and baud rate equal to 9600. In the void loop function, we have uh, send measurement command which is 0x2c and 0x06. So now after that, we have requested 6 bytes of data, temperature and humidity. Now this, this is the conversion part of our temperature and humidity using the formulas which are described clearly in the data sheet. At the end of our code we have our output data on the serial monitor which is in the form of relative humidity and percentage RH along with temperature which is in Celsius and Fahrenheit. So this is how our code looks like. Now let's see how it works with our sensor. Coming to the working environment for the sensor, copy this entire Arduino code and open up the terminal for the Arduino. Now paste the entire code and save it. Now the name of the sensor is there for the reference and now verify and compile this code. It's done. Now upload the code. Uploading is done. Now we have to check for the serial monitor and the sensor we have connected here. Now open up the serial monitor for this and we have our output data on the serial monitor as you can notice. Now when I press my finger over the sensor as you notice relative humidity and the temperature changes. Now again pressing the finger change in relative humidity is in percentage RH along with the temperature in Celsius and Fahrenheit scales. The change is being constantly monitored. So this is how Arduino code works with the sensor. Now let's proceed further. We have just seen the working of humidity and temperature sensor SHT30. This sensor is fully calibrated 
linearized and temperature compensated digital output sensor. This sensor has a new CMOS sensor sensor chip which has increased intelligence, reliability and improved accuracy specifications. These are the features by which it can be applicable for consumer electronics, wearables and mobile market. The sensor can be purchased from our website that is controleverything.com and the Arduino code is available on the same site. You can have also the Arduino code from our GitHub repository that is Control Everything Community. For any queries you can reach us on controleverything.com and be sure to post your comments, your queries on our community page. For articles, blogs, you can contact us on instructables.com and for video tutorials like this you can subscribe our YouTube channel. In the end, you have a good day and thanks for watching.